Is this, you're just a, uh, just a, is there a specific cat you are or just uh, a... Yeah, I'm Ari, I'm Lily Legend, and I'm doing a fan art version of her. And you are? <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, who's the biggest nerd you've seen today? The biggest nerd I've seen today? Yes. I don't know, they're, we're all here together, so I don't know if one's bigger than the other. <laughs> it's great, and, and nerds rule the world, right? Yeah. But if you're so smart, how come it took you so long? I'm sorry? If you're oh. so smart, how, long, how come it took so long? I don't know. Transformers, the main guy. Uh, Optimus Prime? Yes, but he was made out of like blue. Oh, wow. Like, those, like, how many adults does it take to come up with the names of the things we saw? <laughs> there well, was that one. At what age uh, are you too old to play with toys? Um, I don't think it matters. Okay. Some people never had toys growing up, so when they get older, that's kind of when they start getting their toys. Okay. Well, actually, so she's a spy. She wants to find true love. So what does she do? She goes on my dates. She gets set up. So what happens when those guys that she's dating happen to be villain in her espionage world? <gasps> What's going to happen? you got to read all about it. Women always like the bad boys, don't they? Sadly, yes. But, you know, she's a spy, so it's kind of like, it's like, oh, wait, hold on. Even the ones with the golden ass. Yeah. Now, is there somebody that makes her secret weapons and things like that? Well, the super weapons are actually cupcakes and cakes and goodies. Right, that'll take, a, that'll take a golden ass to, like, a bronze ass really quick. <laughs> Hardly. She doesn't eat them. She just, like, feeds them to her villains. Oh, okay, so she makes the villains fat. Well, no, because they're actually bombs and they're weapons and they've got, like, ingredients like sleeping potions and forgetfulness and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, so it's a tongue-in-cheeky uh, take on relationships and dating. Right. <laughs> now, what is your character? I like the... Oh, dog. Half of cage heat. So, oh, okay. Uh, yes. What makes you so what makes you so loca? No, no, she, yeah, we're all not guilty. What makes you so loca? Um, I I commit assault legally. That's what makes me that makes me loca. What superhero would you like to most have sex with? Wonder Woman, Storm. I mean, probably Zatanna. Zatanna, really? I mean, she's a she's a magician. Yeah. You have to assume things could be done really well. Yeah. Right? I mean, like magic what? on your dick. Yes. Make it as big or as small as she wants. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hillary has the same power, but that's a whole, that's a whole whole different story. I mean, they're all hot, so there's like not like it's not like a, a hero who's not hot, right? Right. Now, um, which superhero would you absolutely not want to have sex with? That's a woman or a man. <laughs> yeah, I think everybody would say Hulk. Yeah, no, I mean, I assume Hulk might hurt you. <laughs> yeah, and he's probably got a huge green dick. Yes, like a giant green dick. Sure. I. Well, you know, like a, you know, it would be funny if he didn't. Uh, like if the penis just really, stayed the same. It was average? Yeah. Like it just got an average size dick. But like that's always thought with like what if Shaquille had a Shaquille O'Neal has an average size dick. I've never thought about Shaquille O'Neal's dick. Well, I mean, you know, he's seven like, foot so, tall. We were totally talking about it on the way here. You what do you 
of it because I was always creative. Yeah. If you go back and listen to my songs now, all the Easter eggs have been there. Right. King of Rock, crash through walls, come through floors. Bust your ceilings and knock down doors. Rappers don't do that. Rappers ah, don't it's, a, it's all coming together, yeah. yeah. I'm the devastated Mike Controller DMC. Everything I was writing was just one big long comic book adventure. Now I gotta go back and listen to that. Yes. Tougher than leather. Yeah, all of that. Yeah. Thor is the son of Odin. DMC is the son of Viper. Ah. <laughs> It nerds rule the world clear, clearly now. Oh, absolutely. If they're so smart, what took them so long? Oh, we're smart enough to not leave. Ah, very nice. And uh, what, uh, what's the uh, wildest thing you've seen so far at the con? The wildest thing you've seen so far at the con? There's been several magnificent ones that we've seen. I think the Darth Vader, of, I'm sorry, the uh, Rilo Kent, the new Darth Vader. Kylo Ren. Right. Kylo Ren, thank you. Going by clutching his stuffed Darth Vader doll. Right. Yeah, I think that was pretty cool. Who's the, who's the best villain? So Nichols is the best villain. Yeah, and, uh, as a Joker. Yeah. As, uh, from all the Jokers, he's right. the one. But no one, I don't think anyone can top uh, Jim Carrey as as the Riddler. Really? Because he was he was out of his freaking mind. He's right. tall, skinny. He fits in the in the costume. He was good. He was pretty good. Now, uh, now, who's hotter, Batgirl or Harley Quinn? You're talking about Harley Quinn and Suicide Squad? Sure, why not? Batgirl, uh, Batgirl in the '60s, Suicide Squad today. Suicide Squad today. All right. What about Catwoman? What are we talking about? She looks pretty good. She yeah, she's she's still looking. Yeah. Oh, the Catwoman, uh, Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't go for the whole. Uh, Halle Berry you can't no, do it. No. Can't yeah. do it for me. Uh, and uh, in the '60s, Batman uh, was it Julie Newmar or Eartha Kitt who was hotter? Eartha. Yeah. Yeah. Like, when does somebody tell us to play with toys? Never. Okay. <laughs> like that doesn't exist. What's the best Halloween costume you ever wore? Here that I've seen or that I do. That you do. That you oh. have done in your life. Um. This is good. I was a job mom from Stargate, and actually, it's come tomorrow. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I was gonna, I was gonna say this: Star Wars nerds, Star Trek nerds. You, you don't find a lot of Stargate nerds. I mean, I like, I like them all. Stargate's the best, yeah. but it's kind of similar to Star Trek. You know, it's like you go out each episode, you go out next episode, like boldly go where no man has gone before. But, What's your secret weapon? Ah, that's what they all say. I think it's got something to do with the plums. I, I'm pretty sure, yeah. They're my little plum yes, there's something in the uh, plum. You have plum chucks? You have plum chucks? I have plum chucks. Oh, plum chucks. <laughs> Have you picked on any jocks lately? Uh, I haven't seen any. Are there any here? No, I mean, in your life. <laughs> um, I wish. Yeah? I would actually have a letterman jacket to so that make me a job. Oh, okay. My letterman jacket would be in marching band. Oh, well, marching band doesn't count. Okay. So number four superhero, we're looking to see which person in my universe gets the, you know, has the qualities of becoming a superhero. Right. Well, I'm sure you're seeing a lot of people here. Yeah, when you come into the DMC universe, it's DMC, the first DMC superhero right. from the DMC universe, but there's already other superheroes in the book, right. in addition to the village. DMC is fighting those other superheroes, because other superheroes do stuff like this, which is kind of cool, because you could really do it if you're a right. superhero. You want me to save this city? You got to pay I like it. Like, if Benji's having like, superpowers, right. he's rich, but you can see he don't want the money. How do you become a referee? Yeah, How do you become a referee? Yeah. So I'd like to break some of your girls up very slowly. Who's the who's the uh, biggest nerd you've seen today? Uh, and don't say yourself. All of them? Really? I mean, you know, there's a ton of nerds here, and they're all awesome. Are Harley Quinn's a little sluttier than the rest of the girls? 
I, I approve of, I don't do slut shaming. Okay. So, yeah, I, I'm totally cool with uh, any cosplayer wearing whatever they want to wear. Right. Having as good a time as they want to have and feeling good about themselves. That's how I feel about But they are a little looser. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, what superhero would you like to have sex with? Oh, that's a tough one. Come on, golden ass. Oh, I have never really fantasized about that. Um, probably the Man of Steel. Ah. That would be me. I'm allowed to be DMC, the king of rock is on higher. Yes. But I'm also DMC, one of the baddest superheroes in the world. Yeah. You know, in the universe.